Hello fellow art nerds, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be drawing Hayao Miyazaki while telling you some fun facts you may or may not know about him. He was born on January 5th, 1941 in Tokyo, Japan. He's a Japanese anime director who has multiple critically acclaimed and popular movies. He's best known for being the co-founder of the film and animation studio, Studio Ghibli. Miyazaki's father was the director of the manufacturing company Miyazaki Airplane. The company built parts for Zero fighter planes, which gave Miyazaki a strong love of flying. This interest in planes and flying influenced almost all of his artwork. He gained an education in economics at Gakushin University, Tokyo, in 1963, but instead began to work as an entry-level animator at Toei Animation, a division of the Toei Studio and Asia's largest producer of animation. There, he met Takahara Isayo and Ota Akami. Takahara would become his best friend and business partner, and Oda would become his wife. Miyazaki worked on multiple projects during his time in Toei, including Wolf Boy Ken and 1968 Little Norse Prince. He would leave Toei in 1971 with Takahara, and the two would continue to work for many studios during the 1970s. During this time, he worked on short films for Panda Go Panda, and his first full-length film, 1979, Lupin III, Castle of Cagliostro. Miyazaki's art style started to become more recognizable in Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, which originated as a monthly manga strip he wrote for Anna Mage magazine from 1982 to 1984. Later, it would become a film released in 1984 that was directed by Miyazaki and Takahata. Being fairly successful, the two decided to make their partnership more permanent and launched Studio Ghibli in 1985. In 1986, Ghibli released their first film, Castle in the Sky, in Japan. Nausicaa was released in the US as Warriors of the Wind, but the edits and poor dubbing made the American release virtually unwatchable. Because of this, it took nearly a decade before Miyazaki considered another Western release. Despite this, Ghibli continued to release movies in Japan. My Neighbor Totoro released alongside Grave of the Fireflies in 1988. Following those were Kiki's Delivery Service in 1989 and Porco Rosso in 1992. While all of those were critically acclaimed, it would be Princess Mononoke's 1997 release that broke Japanese box office records. This movie showed a couple of Miyazaki's recurring themes, such as the conflict between industrialism and the environment, and the spiritual world living alongside humans. In 2001, Miyazaki released Spirited Away. It won the top prize at the 2002 Berlin International Film Festival, won Best Asian Film at the Hong Kong Film Awards, and was named Best Animated Feature at the 2003 Academy Awards. In Japan, it won Best Picture of the 2002 Japanese Academy Awards and replaced Titanic as a top grossing film in Japanese history. Spirited Away follows the story of a young girl, Chihiro, when she wanders away from her parents and accidentally enters a world of spirits and gods. There, she's given the name Sen, and must try to reclaim her name and return to the human world. In 2004, Howl's Moving Castle was released, also being nominated for an Academy Award in 2006. In 2005, Disney released a new Western adaptation of Nausicaa on DVD. This version included the original Japanese audio as well as a new, professionally recorded English dub. This was the first time the film was released in its original form to the US. 2008 marked the release of Ponyo, a film aimed at younger children, which was different from what Ghibli films had done before. However, it was still the top box office draw of 2008 in Japan. Miyazaki co-wrote screenplays for The Secret World of Area T in 2010 and From Up on Poppy Hill in 2011. The Secret World of Area T was based on the novel The Borrowers by Mary Norton, and From Up on Poppy Hill was adopted from a manga and was also directed by Miyazaki's son, Goro. In 2003 was the release of The Wind Rises, based on Miyazaki's manga of the same name. It was nominated for an Academy Award in 2014. However, this would also be when Miyazaki would announce that The Wind Rises would be his final feature-length film before his retirement. Instead, he worked on a short film, Boro the Caterpillar, for the Ghibli Museum in Mitaka. This retirement would be temporary, however, as in 2016, Boro the Caterpillar would be expanded as a full feature-length film. This was Miyazaki's first completely computer-animated film. After this, Miyazaki would announce his retirement once again. In 2015, he received an honorary Oscar from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. 
In 2017, Miyazaki would announce another film he would be directing, How Do You Live? Coming out of his retirement once again. This sparked a bit of an inside joke amongst artists, where Miyazaki was compared to a cat, being completely indecisive about the decision to retire. 2020 marked the release of another completely CGI film, Earwig and the Witch, directed by Miyazaki's son. However, unlike all the previous Ghibli films to date, this film was received mostly negatively, as it didn't capture the signature Miyazaki charm. Part of what made Ghibli films so recognizable were its painted backgrounds and completely 2D animation. Today, Miyazaki is still hard at work with his team creating How Do You Live, despite the pandemic. The producer of the film, Toshio Suzuki, was interviewed by Entertainment Weekly for news about the film, and he stated that, We are still hand drawing everything, but it takes us more time to complete a film because we're drawing more frames. He states that Totoro was done in 8 months with 8 animators, however, because of the larger workload, they're only able to do around a minute of animation per month with 60 animators. As of the interview, they'd completed 36 minutes of the film and hope to get the film completed within the next 3 years. Miyazaki's work has inspired young artists and animators of all generations, his films becoming a staple of Japanese pop culture worldwide. Despite being 80 years of age, he continues to create films and inspire current artists and artists to come. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Please share it with a fellow art nerd, and if you love receiving quality and free art education, subscribe!